Where did Nemo Texas come from? That was before or after finding Nemo. Where do you think they came up with the name Ding Dong Texas? Maybe there's a lot of dumb people. <laughs> Every day we pass through places with weird names without even noticing. Zipperlandville. That's real? But did you ever wonder where those names came from? I don't know what they were thinking at all. Their origins reveal an interesting piece of Texas history. And 15 minutes east of San Angelo is a town with perhaps the most bizarre story of all. This is very best. The name very best is exactly how it sounds, very best. But where did it come from? Well, there's another small town about an hour or so down the road here, Whoa! named best. I think we know where this is going. Best, very best, makes sense, right? But no, very best, well, some people say it was named after a jar of mayonnaise, mayonnaise. For an explanation, we've got to go back about a hundred years. The people here originally wanted to name their town Mullins after one of its first settlers, Isaac Mullins. But there was already a city in Texas named Mullen. Therefore, we couldn't have Mullen and Mullins in Texas, and there was a contest. The contest was to see who could come up with a name that wasn't already taken. And one young woman found inspiration here at the old general store. Back then, Armor and Company produced a brand of canned foods called Very Best. Now, this is where some accounts differ, because there was also a company called Norman's Very Best Bread. And it was in this store that that young woman either saw a loaf of bread or mayonnaise or something with the very best name and figured no other town in Texas had that name. From the moment I first saw you, she was right. And we may never know definitively if it was Norman's very best bread. It could also be suggested that it was for Armor's very best brands. It's almost free marketing for them. Absolutely, Gr yeah. great advertising. Whatever her inspiration, one thing is true. The very best name was plucked straight from the grocery store shelves. As weird as that sounds, let's be honest. There are a lot of towns out there with boring names. So it's kind of refreshing to find a place like this with a name so good, you can just eat it up. Mm. 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 Good man. Mm.